Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, where we will not be divided or conquered. And while you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. Gangs from Venezuela coming to a neighborhood near you or coming to take over a neighborhood you live in. But first, let me remind everybody how much Kamala has laughed about our border. We are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you. this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't I don't understand the point that you're making. Let me help you out with the point here, Kamala. You were the border czar. You are the vice president. The federal government is duly sworn to protect the American people. Our border is like your front door of your precious home. You are supposed to protect it. You are supposed to keep people from coming in that are bad people. Let in the good people, keep out the bad people. Just like the front door of your mansion. That's the point. Quit laughing at our border and protect it. Or this will happen. Well, actually, it already is happening. And Mayor Mike Kaufman, the mayor of Aurora, Colorado. Mayor, thank you very much for, for coming on with us. Um, it seems it's tough Pleasure to even you. get some confirmation of the details of what is going on there. First off, um, can you confirm whether or not this gang has taken over these buildings there in Aurora? So there are several buildings uh, actually under the same ownership, out-of-state ownership, uh, that have uh, fallen to uh, these Venezuelan gangs. Uh, we're, I'm trying to walk it back and do the and do the, the investigation as to how the Vene so there's a concentration of Venezuelans uh, uh, in these these three buildings. Uh, um, somebody put them there and somebody funded it. Uh, whether it's federal government or not, we're trying to find out who uh, these gangs apparently are, are attracted to where there's a concentration of of uh, Venezuelan migrants, and so uh, they've in fact have kind of pushed out the property management through intimidation and then uh, collected the rents. Uh, we have now, um, or have had, uh, it is ongoing uh, uh, operations uh, with uh, a, a task force of local law enforcement, state uh, uh, law enforcement partners and, and federal law enforcement partners uh, to root them out and, and arrests have been made, but these operations are now, are still ongoing. With the arrests that have been made, are these confirmed gang-affiliated members? You know, they, um, they, they, this is an organized criminal effort, uh, whether it's Trende, Aragua, uh, that remains to be, to be seen. But it do, really doesn't matter. I mean, if they're, if they're you know, Venezuelan yeah. migrants and they're, and they're uh, conducting crime in an organized Understood. manner, they're, they're a problem. So, okay, so you're able to confirm that they, this, this Venezuelan, Venezuelan gang has indeed taken over at least some of the buildings. You're saying at least two of the three. And what I just heard from you is you don't know how they ended up there. And you even made a suggestion that they could have been sent there by, by, like, by federal officials, I heard you suggest. Well, I mean, do you have any reason to believe that to be the case? So here's the, here's the problem. I, I think we're a victim of, of a failed policy at the southern border because uh, what you have, I, Venezuela does not, according to, to my law enforcement, Venezuela does not cooperate with the United States in sharing criminal histories. Um, you've had a third of the country leave. You've had these massive waves of, of migrants coming across the border that, that many of them crossed the border illegally, were arrested, uh, asked for a political asylum. Uh, we're not adequately vetted. We're released into the country. Um, the city of Aurora, we did everything we could to, to, to quite frankly, keep them out of, out of the city because it's not our problem. This is a federal problem. This is a problem uh, borne by the federal government. Uh, but what I think what we're trying to, to find out and what I believe occurred was that agent, federal agencies worked with some of our local nonprofits uh, and put them there. Um, now, most of these people are very good good people um but there there's a criminal element that from what i understand what law enforcement is briefing me that often follows them uh intends to exploit them within their own migrant community and so 
we believe that that is happening uh, now. Now, it's, we're the 51st largest city in America we're with over 400,000 in population. This is only several apartment complexes. Yeah. But nonetheless, I'm not going to surrender any part of this city to a criminal element. I'm sure glad I live in a small town. At least these uh, foreign gangs will take over big cities first. Thank you, Joe Biden. And thank you, Kamala Harris.